Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Perfect, perfect. How are you doing today? Good evening, teacher. Very well, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I can see some people connected. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Good, good, good. How are you doing today? How was your day? This, uh, today on Tuesday. Let me ask on some people. Let me see on Jose Samuel. What can you tell me, mister? How was your day? Um, my day is great. Ah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. And what about your day, Carlos Heriberto? How was it? Was it good? Interesting? Uh, can you tell yes, me? My, my day was uh, very good, very good. Yes. Uh, my job is good and everything's mm -hmm. good. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. That's good to know, I'm happy for that. Let me ask on more people, what about for you? Oh, Mr. Oscar Armando, how are you doing today, mister? Excellent. Up. Perfect, perfect. That's good to know. Good to know. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I see more people connected and that's very nice. You know, it's good to have you here and we can get started on checking some contents as for today we have some practice. Let me get started by checking an attendance at this moment so you know what to do when you listen to your name at this moment. Let me get on my file with the correct date and everything. Just day 24th, that's correct. All right, let's get started. Albert, Alberto Enrique? Present. All right, then Ana Noemi? All right, all right, thank you. Brian Isaac? Brian Isaac. Probably Present. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Then Carlos Fernando. Carlos Fernando. All right, I move on. Uh, Carlos Heriberto. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Carlos Manuel. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Then Cesar Alejandro. Present. Great. Claudia Lisette. Miss Claudia Lisette. Not yet, probably. Christian Gerardo. Christian Gerardo. Not yet. I move on. Damaris Mabel. Present teacher. All right. Thank you. Then eh, Lian Heriberto. Mr. Elian Heriberto, okay, probably not available yet. Then I have Stephanie Hissel. Present. All right, thank you, thank you. Then let me see. Stephanie is present. Let's see. Then I have Fatima Elizabeth. Present, Fatima. teacher. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Uh, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Then uh, Gabriela Eunice. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Let me see. Gabriela is present. Then Herson Antonio. Herson Antonio. Not available yet. Uh, Ingrid Jamilet. Present. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jose Samuel. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Marcos Javier. Marcos Javier. All right, I move on. Maria de los Angeles. Uh, Ger, eh, Ger, sí. Por ahí vi su confirmación eh, por la señal que tiene, pero yo sé que está por acá. Thank you so much, Miss. Then Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. All right, all right, thank you. Marvin Raimundo. 
Present teacher. Nice one. Thank you. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. All right, all right. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Gustavo Garcia. Gustavo, probably not available. Then Jan Cesarei. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jamie Rosibel. I am here. Excellent, thank you. And Jennifer Yesenia. Miss Jennifer Yesenia. All right, probably not available. All right, thank you so much, people, for your confirmation. Remember, uh, if you didn't answer on the first time, remember that there is a second time before we leave and we double check on attendance. So don't worry. Si usted eh, se incorporó y todavía no le había y, o ya le había mencionado, no se preocupe. Recuérdese que su tiempo in, inicia desde que usted se conecta, ¿verdad? Ese es el, el, el tiempo que empieza a contar. E igualmente, eh, antes de retirarnos, hacemos un. Chequeamos nuevamente, ¿verdad? Acá con asistencia, así que tenemos una chance todavía de confirmar nuestra asistencia. No problem, all right? Thank you, thank you so much. Let's see. Uh, before we get started, you know, we go for today in class number 14, session 14, and I just have some uh, reminders about, you know, the importance of being connected, you know, being online to practice and also to complete the requirement for time and also to check on the information from the platform. As I can see at this moment, uh, you know, in the list, some people are still missing some parts. And remember, there is one instruction that goes to, right, complete the platform, the five sections, and also to take the written, uh, the final test uh, on this one. It's, it's very, very, very important that we complete that one before Thursday's class. So please, I will require on your collaboration for that. Es pedirle su colaboración. Eh, veo que muchos, incluso en el cuadro donde se lleva el control de asistencia, veo que mis compañeros le dan seguimiento a cómo usted va en la plataforma y puedo ver que a varios ya les han marcado acá en verdecito que es equivalente a que usted ya finalizó toda su plataforma. Los que, las personas que voy a mencionar todavía están pendientes de algo, ya sea finalizar la última sección o, tu, o tomar su examen final. Este proceso se debe realizar antes de la clase del jueves, ¿ok? No le vamos a dar mucha extensión a, porque estamos por finalizar el curso. Entonces, yo les pediré así su colaboración y, y les agra agradeceré de todo corazón si usted a más tardar eh, completa la plataforma mañana. Ok, mañana miércoles, eh, tratemos de dejar ya todo listo, así nos quedamos ya solo con las sesiones que nos restan y con la plataforma pues ya completa y igual recuerde que si usted tiene en alguna sección menos de 80 de calificación, igualmente regresamos a esa sección, realizamos los ejercicios, hacemos los cambios correspondientes para llegar al mínimo requerido eh, por sección. I will read on the people. Voy a leer a las personas que en el reporte de mis compañeros todavía no han completado plataforma. Si usted ya lo hizo, ¿verdad? Puede ser que la, la información esté más actualizada y que venga de parte suya, que me diga, teacher, yo ya estuvo, ahora lo hice antes de clase, entonces no hay problema. Let me check on this one. I have Carlos Fernando, I have Carlos Manuel, Claudia Lisset, I have Eliane Heriberto, also Gabriela Eunice, Gerson Antonio, Ingrid Jamilet, José Samuel, and Jennifer Yesen. Como les comentaba, eso es lo que yo veo en el reporte acá. Puede que le falte ya sea la última sección que esté por finalizar, le haga falta hacer su examen final, puede, pudiera ser, o tal vez alguna, eh, alguna sección esté baja y tal vez necesitamos mejorarla. Así que a las personas que mencioné, usted sabe cómo va con su progreso, nada más le hago la invitación. Pero si es posible, dejar ya todo listo para mañana y quedamos ya con ese requisito, pues eh, ya una preocupación menos, podríamos decirle de esa forma. Now, uh, any comments for the platform? Comentarios, preguntas de la plataforma al momento? No question. Ok, thank you, thank you. All right, thank you so much. Me quedo entonces ahí con la invitación y les agradezco de antemano porque sé que van a tomar a bien mis palabras y vamos a tratar de completar la info. Let's see, let's get started on today. Uh, you know, we continue working with a section that goes by the name, when were you born? And at this moment, we are going to emphasize info about saying years. And also we practice statements with uh, 
the, ver the past of B, right? Either uh, affirmative, negative, or interrogative. That's pretty much the part that we will cover at this moment. Let me see. Just give me a second. All right, let's see on this one. As a preparation, I have some info about how to say years. And take a look at the, uh, the information on the screen and I will require on your help. Tell me people, we have uh, this number and we can express it in the form of quantity, right? In the form of that. Or also we can express it sometimes, or when we say years, you know, people usually go for a shorter form. That is what usually happens in this one. That is what people do with the language. In this case, just as an example, if I want to read the complete number, imagine that I am talking about quantity, I have to say 1,900, 74. That is the complete number. But for years, there is other form. And I ask on volunteers, who knows how to say this one in a shorter form? Any volunteer? 1974. 1974. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. And that's perfect. In this case, we can say 1974. It's like in the complete number we have, you know, in the complete uh, quantity, let's say we have four numbers. So we make a division or we group them. We group the numbers two and two, right? That is how you say it. 1974. That is a form to express years. And that is a shorter form. And actually, that is like the common way to say in years. Vea por ahí que si yo quisiera leer la cantidad como lo hice hace un momento, nosotros tenemos que decir 1974. En español creo que no hay abreviaciones. Nosotros siempre decimos toda la cifra tal cual. Pero en inglés bueno, suena bastante largo, 1974. Así que ellos lo que hacen es que agrupan las cifras de dos en dos para que resulte más fácil leerlas. Entonces es como que dijéramos 1974, así literalmente. 19 74. De esa forma es que las, eh, se reportan las fechas en el idioma inglés. Let's, let's have some practice on this one. Check on the next one. And let me see on this one. How do you say this one? ¿Cómo diríamos este entonces? 1839. Thank you. 1839. That's perfect. Next one. How do you say that one? 1990. All right. Thank you. 1990. Nice. Next one, how do you say this one? 1983. Exactly, 1983, perfect. Go on the next one, how do you say that? 1985. That's fine. Go for the next one, please. 1711. That's right, 1711, excellent. What about this one? 1997. Mm -hmm. 1997. Nice one. What about on this one? How do you say that? 1962. 62. Okay. 62. In this one, right? 62. En este vamos a utilizar los números eh, serían eh, cardinales, ¿verdad? Cardinales. Como que fueran cantidad, exacto, ¿verdad? Los ordinales los utilizamos con las fechas. 22nd, uh, or Bueno, 20 seconds sería el último, o si no, first, second, third, y así. Pero eso es para las fechas. Para los años, vamos con los números que conocemos normalmente. But take a look at this one. We have, you know, in this one, we make a division, right? Two, two numbers and two numbers. Vea que hacemos división de dos números a dos números. But there are, there are some exceptions, as in the English language is very uh, like that, right? Vea que el inglés generalmente pues, es muy... Hay muchas, muchas, muchas excepciones. Check on this one. ¿Cómo diríamos el, el año 2000 en este caso? ¿Será que podemos hacer una división o cómo lo mencionamos? ¿Mm? 
Perfect, perfect, perfect. In this one, it's not possible to make a division. So we read the number as it is, right? No shorter form. We say 2000. Similar to the next one, you can say 2001, 2002, and we continue like that. It's not possible or not common to say 2002, right? That is not like that. Vea que del 2000 al 2009 no sigue esa tendencia de agruparlo en dos cifras, sino que ahí pues vamos a leer la cifra prácticamente tal cual como la vemos ahí. ¿verdad? Vamos a leer la cifra tal cual 2001, 2002, 2003 y así sucesivamente. 2004, 2006, 2008, 2009. Hasta ese periodo vamos a leer la cifra tal cual. Del 2010, ahí pudiéramos decir... 2010, y, o si no, volvemos ya a lo que conocemos de dos en dos. 2010, 2011, 2012, right? For example, in this one, tell me, in what year are we at the present? What year is this one? ¿En qué año estamos? 2022. 2022. 2022. Exactly, right? You've, you see in this one, it's possible to go two numbers and two numbers, 20, 22 in that part. But there is just an exception for 2000 to 2009. Vea que la excepción ocurre solo en este, en este pequeño periodo, del 2000 al 2009. De ahí lo demás, sí es posible agruparlos como ya lo había, como lo mencionamos hace momentos. Let's go for practice. Cada uno vaya, después vamos a practicar con nuestro año de nacimiento, ¿verdad? Porque esa es la idea, que eh, la información pues la pongamos en práctica con eh, estructuras que ya conocemos o que hemos socializado. Check on this one. We have a quick practice at this moment, so I need your help. And even if you don't know, try to guess, right? Les pido de favor que tratemos de participar y aunque usted no se pueda, la respuesta correcta, usted participe. El objetivo es que usted diga números en inglés. That's the object. Take a look at the question. Can you read the question in the presentation? What's the question? When were they born? Where they born? When were they born? When were they born? When were they born? Exactly. Yesterday we practiced, right? Where? Talking about the location. Where were they born? Talking about location. Jackie Chan in, in Hong Kong, right? We were giving information about place, but today we give information about the year. Years, teacher. Hmm? Exactly, talking about years. Take a look at this one. Probably you know this person, probably, all right? And imagine on this. If you want to ask about the year of, of, of the, the birth year about this person, how would you ask the question? Si quisiéramos preguntar cuándo nació él, ¿cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? No, 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 es eso, no, no estamos, pregu no estamos reportando, estamos preguntando, escuche la instrucción. Si quisiéramos preguntar en qué año nació él, ¿cómo es la pregunta? No estamos, no estamos adivinando la fecha. ¿Cómo quedaría la pregunta? Well, right. I listen to many versions. Escuché muchas versiones. Let me choose a person. Voy a escoger una persona para que nos colabore y ahí vamos a escuchar y después vamos a tener a más personas practicando. Let me see. Christian Gerardo, what's the question? Gerardo, escuché muchas versiones. Cuéntenos cuál es su versión. Sorry, one more time. All right, when was born? All right, thank you so much for your participation. Marvin, what's your version? Uh, my version, where was he born? No, All right. excuse me, excuse me. When, were, when was he born? All right, when was he born? Thank you, Marvin. And self correction, teacher, that's excellent. Teacher, Tell me. Teacher, uh, if I can, si uh, lo quisiera decir sin una doble respuesta, sería. Uh, was he born? Uh, in that case, yeah. Yeah, in that case, uh -huh. yes. But in that context, it's like you're asking for a confirmation. The question is, uh -huh, when was he born? Exactly. Uh, no hay auxiliar. 
Esa es la WH word. En las, en las preguntas con el verbo to be no hay auxiliar. Le comento sí, es eso porque... De, word, sí. Ajá, exacto, ¿verdad? Porque de pronto decimos auxiliar y nos vamos po posiblemente por otro lado con, con la idea. Pero no, no, don't worry. Ahí no utilizamos auxiliar, sino que eh, reordenamos la oración y ocupamos una WH word. All right? Let's see. One final person to participate and I will choose on a lady at this moment. Jan Cisaraí, tell me, what's the question? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? When was he born? Perfect. And that's correct, as many of you mentioned. When was he born? Vea que ahí, eh, si usted seguía por la, la pregunta que tenemos en pantalla, basta con cambiar el verbo to be y el pronombre, ¿verdad? El pronombre sabemos que sería he. Entonces, después de cambiar el pronombre, se sabe que el verbo to be para he sería was. When was he born? Born. And now tell me, ahora escucho los años, cuéntenme, ¿qué año creen que nació él? Born in 1933. All right, thank you. More comments? Comments, comments. We listen to you. Let me choose. Quizás teme, ustedes tienen miedo quizás a que todos escuchen a todos y no les logren identificar, no problem. Carlos Manuel, give me your best guess. Cuéntenos, Carlos, o adivine. Díganos un año que cree que nació. 19. Ajá. Mm, 19. Eh, 17. 1975. All right, 1975. Thank you. Oscar Armando, what's your version? What, what's your idea? 1915. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see. Jamie Racibel, what's your, uh, what's your guess? He was <laughs> born in. No, 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 relax, tranquila, respire, respire, yo lo traje para motivarles, no para distraerles, pero He's ya so vi, cute, <laughs> no, 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 Born in 19. Uh -huh, born in 19. 8, 18, 80. Mm -hmm. 82, digamos. 82, <laughs> all right. No, qué bárbara. Y mire que el, el hombre la tiene encantada y no se sabe la fecha. <laughs> no, Jamie, le fallamos a Johnny. Hoy le fallamos a Johnny. Okay. Esa, va ser, esa va a ser su tarea, Jamie. Ah, son bravos. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Con gusto, dice. Mañana le digo la biografía, teacher. <laughs> All right, let's see on this one. The correct answer, he was born in 1963. Right? I Google it, man. Yo lo busqué en Google antes, así que creo que estamos bien con la información. Si I quisiéramos responder. Ah, perfect. Favorite. Your favorite actor. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. In this one, if we want to create the, cor the complete answer, we can say he was born in. Vea que ya en, en el reporte, cuando damos una oración afirmativa, reordenamos otra vez los elementos, ¿verdad? El sujeto, he, después el verbo to be, was born in, y mencionamos el año, 1963. Now, tell me, take a look at this lady that I have in the picture. And if, even if you don't know her, Let's try to guess. Incluso si usted no la identifica, no se preocupe. Véala ahí que está algo jovencita y tratemos de reportar. Tell me, let me see some guesses at this moment. Eh, Mr. Elian Heriberto, tell me, when was she born? Cuéntenos, Elian, trate de adivinar. She was born in 1980. All right. Thank you, thank you. Perfect. What about, what do you say? Let me see on Damaris Mabel. What's your idea? What's your guess? She is born. Mm -hmm. she, uh, was, she was. She was. She was born. Uh -huh. She was in, born mm -hmm. in uh, 1970. 1970. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Last person to participate. Carlos Fernando, what's your guess on this person? She, she was born in 1999. 1999. All right, perfect. By the way, do you know who this person is? 
Zendaya. She's Zendaya. Shakira. Shakira. She's no, she's not Shakira. It's Zendaya, right? She's I was, I was, I, she's an actress. I was looking for some famous people, and then she appeared over there. In the reality, she was born in 1996, right? 1996. What about on the next one? Tell me. I imagine you know him, right? So no introduction. You creo que lo conocen, no? No. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. All right. Yo pensé que alguien me iba a decir, sí. Apunta, <laughs> <Right. laughs> teacher. Excellent. Oh, okay, perfect. Apunta. No, no problem. All right. Let's see. Let's try to guess. Tratemos de adivinar. When was he born? ¿Cuándo creen que nació? 1984. 80, uh, check on this one, 1985 for this, for this person, right? He was born in 1985. Let's go for, I have two more, two more people. Let's see on this one. Probably some of you know her, probably, right? Tal vez alguien la conoce, alguna. Los chicos de ahora, ah, perfect, right? Young people probably not, right? Lo, los jóvenes puede hacer que digan, ¿y quién es esta señora? ¿no? Pero algunos sí la conocen, aunque se la hemos oído mencionar. Tell me, right? She's been around for a long time. Eh? Creo que ya lleva bastante tiempo de, de que ha nacido. Ah, Oscar, oh, dígame, Oscar, cuénteme, Oscar. 1960. 1960, all right, perfect. No se me distrajo con Madonna, Oscar. No, no so much. <laughs> It's 1958. Uh -huh. No, ¿cómo es 58? Espérame. 1958. All right, 1958. All right, all right. She's Let, an old teacher. Uh, yeah, she's been around for a long time, I guess, right? She's been to, with us for a Una long time. En la edad de Chabelo. Uh, uh, no, Ed, that's immortal, man. That's immortal. That's a different thing, right? <laughs> pre Hispanic, right? That's different. <laughs> let me see. Uh, let me ask on one more person on the guest on this one. What do you think, Alberto? Alberto Enrique, when was she born? Um, she was born in 1916. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's discover. She was born, I guess some of you mentioned, right? She was born in 1958, right? 1958. Damaris was correct, right? Did you Google it, Damaris? Yes, teacher, yes. Ah, <laughs> hey, that's why, right? But that's fine. Thank you so much. And that's correct. Good info. The last one, and that is something that you should know. Tenemos gente internacional, yes. Bueno, que de repente conozcamos, pero quedémonos con lo nuestro acá. All right, the last one. Uh, probably you have seen him before on pictures or something like that, right? And let's begin. Who is, who is, this, who is this person? Uh, who is this? Alfredo Espino. Alfredo Espino. Okay, perfect. Alfredo Espino. When was he born? Este, esta como que es la paiva, ya ven, pero la paiva en inglés le estamos haciendo, right? Excellent, right? Así que podemos repetirnos con la paiva. But don't, don't Google it, ya veo a todos wow. así tecleando. Wow. Right? Wow. He was born? Ajá. 1942. Okay, thank you, Oscar. Thank you. Comments, comments? Yeah. He was born in 1999. Mm. Teacher, one, two, one thousand, thousand nine. One thousand ninety. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Yes. Nine hundred. Yes. Ah, perfect. Thank you so it's much. Right. Yeah, it's possible, all right? Thank you so much. Let's see on this one. Uh, let me show it to you. You are correct, and there is one form to express on this one. Actually, that is what you mean. That that's the number. If we want to read this one, that complete one, we have to say 1,900, 1,900, tal cual. Lo leeríamos de esta forma. 
But there is an abbreviation for this one. Si existe abbreviation para este, yo la estaba buscando. Y pudiéramos decir, sorry, I, I, going back, right? We can say like this one, we can say 1900. 1900. 1900 lo podríamos resumir como que dijéramos 19 y después cientos, si lo quisiéramos traducir súper literal, pues, pero es algo que no existe esa figura, pero hace referencia a 1900. Como que usted me diga 19 y después me dice cientos. 1900. Cuando usted escuche esa cifra, 1900 es una forma más corta de decir 1900. O sea, vea que ahí lo que buscan las personas es ahorrarse palabras cuando dicen cifras y hacen referencia a los años. ¿Ok? You say 1900. Así hacemos referencia en este caso. Igualmente a los 1800, 1800 y así sucesivamente. ¿Verdad? Cuando son fechas eh, exactas de 00, digamos, al final. Ahí sí podemos hacer referencia. Si pasara, pues entonces ya 1920, ahí sí hacemos la división de dos cifras y dos cifras. Now, after this introduction, let's go for some ideas. As I promised you yesterday, I was going to share with you some info. Remember the verb to be? There are two alternatives or two versions for the verb to be. Which are they? Ve en pantalla y dígame, ¿cuáles eran las dos versiones del verbo to be que tenemos en pasado? Was and were. Was and were. Was and were. In affirmative, right? Was and were. Thank you. That's correct. And as you may see on the screen, we have the combinations for the subjects, right? So you see, I was, he was, she was, it was, and the other, you were, they were, they were. That's the, the one. After the verb to be, even uh, either in affirmative or in negative or interrogative sentences, we can have some information and I will show it to you. For example, some possible complements for this one could be, you know, possible complements. It could be a place. Remember the, the idea or the essence of the verb to be, right? As in the translation, it's ser o estar. Si usted se recuerda, ¿verdad? Cuando nos, nos dicen, vamos a hablar del verbo to be, ¿qué significa? Es el verbo ser o estar. Vea que ahí no estamos hablando de acción. Si eso es lo que he, hemos tratado de practicar y socializar en clase para no confundir, ¿verdad? Eh, verbos de acción que igualmente son del pasado, pero cada uno tiene su función, ¿verdad? El auxiliar did y lo que ya hemos visto es para acciones. Vea que aquí el verbo to be nos sirve para reportar por ejemplo lugares I was at home yesterday I was in the park two weeks ago in that case it is possible to have a complement podemos tener un complemento de lugar ya sea en afirmativo, ya sea en negativo o ya sea en forma interrogativa were you in your house yesterday? ¿estuvo usted en su casa ayer? ah, yes I was no I wasn't right? Other possible complement for this one is emotions, adjectives in general, right? I was scared. I was scared uh, in the movie theater last week, right? Estaba asustado. I was scared. It's possible to report emotions. I was excited or we were excited, excited in the previous class. Estuvimos muy contentos ¿verdad? en la clase anterior. We were excited. Emotions are valid complements for the verb to be. Other possibility is to give physical descriptions, right? When we give a reference about how we were, similar to the practice of yesterday. Si se recuerda ayer hicimos una mini práctica de eso, pues tenemos igual esos posibles complementos. Una descripción física, una característica física. Uh, I was tall or I was short. ¿verdad? Yo era eh, pequeño, yo era alto. Or in this case, uh, I was chubby, ¿verdad? Un poquitito rellenito, era no gordo, right? pero un poquito rellenito. Podemos decir chubby, I was chubby uh, when I was a child, right? Cuando yo era un niño, yo era un poco gordito. It's possible to have a physical descriptions. And the, the last one uh, about this group, it's also possible to talk about personality description. You know, I was fearless. You are intrepido, ¿verdad? Sin miedo antes. I was fearless. I was talkative, right? I was talkative in the past. Or probably when I was, when I was younger, probably I was rude. Tal vez cuando yo era, eh, estaba más joven, era grosero, era pesado, ¿verdad? En cierta, de cierta forma. Podemos también utilizar todos esos tipos de adjetivos que nos sirven para describir cómo usted era 
o en algún caso donde usted estuvo, ¿verdad? Todo eso es parte de lo que podemos reportar utilizando el verbo to be. Si usted ve los complementos, ninguno hace referencia a, a alguna acción, ¿verdad? No es como una acción de escuchar, eh, dormir, estudiar, eh, viajar, no estamos hablando de nada de eso. Entonces, que nos quede un poquitito, y por eso se los compartí en ese momento, para que tengamos tal vez una idea más clara de cuando usted va a expresar algo, ¿verdad? si yo quiero decir dónde estuve, puedo utilizar el verbo to be. Cómo me sentía, utilizo el verbo to be. Si yo quiero de contarle a alguien lo que hice, entonces el verbo to be ya no me sirve. Me voy con los verbos de acción. I played soccer. I slept. Right? I, I watched a movie. I cooked. Ahí vea que cómo cambiamos. Siempre está dentro del verbo to be, pero el verbo to be tiene su función específica y después los verbos, obviamente, de acción reportan pues, lo que su nombre denota. Questions at this moment? No, teacher. All right. No, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank no, you. Question. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Let's go for the practice. This is something from yesterday. If you remember, I just I just put it here just for uh for having a you see a review. Right. Remember in questions. There is an inversion, right? Nada más esto lo que vimos ayer, se los, pon, se los eh, volví a colocar acá para que recordemos que acá en las preguntas con el verbo to be, there is no auxiliary. No utilizamos auxiliar en las preguntas con el verbo to be. Siempre seguimos con la misma idea de para qué nos sirve, ¿verdad? Pero acá ve que solo existe una inversión. Solo se cambia de posición los primeros dos elementos y el complemento queda igual. Now, after checking on this one, it's time uh, it's also sorry uh, for wh questions you only include the wh question at the beginning all right you come from a just a question to an open-ended answer or an open-ended question then we go for the practice as you have it on the groups right this is info you already have esta lista de preguntas usted ya la tiene la socializamos desde el lunes si no estoy equivocado Lunes, yeah, ayer creo que la socializamos, no se equivoca, all right? We have some info, and these are some questions that we are going to use and we are going to practice in small groups. Where were you born? Es una que ya, ya eh, nosotros hemos practicado, y les pido de favor que tratemos de dar estructura completa. Si me preguntan where, yo sé que me están preguntando por el lugar, pero no solo me vaya a decir cuando se responda, en Chalchapa. In Mexicanos, in San Salvador, no, de mi estructura completa. I was born in San Salvador, right? Complete, complete sentences. The second one, similar to that one, when, talking about the year, when were you born? Ahí nos preguntan cuándo, en qué año. Ah, entonces ahora que ya lo conocemos, reportamos. I was born in 19, y usted le dice el año a su compañero. Igualmente, where was your mother born? ¿Dónde nació su mamá? ¿Dónde nació su papá? Si usted no se puede la información, invéntesela. All right, no problem. No vamos a andar fiscalizando ahí de ver si de verdad es el dato real. Lo importante es la práctica, ¿ok? My father was born, my mother was born in, y usted reporta una ciudad o un lugar donde la persona nació. Who was your first English teacher? ¿Quién fue su primer profesor de inglés? My first English teacher was... Uh, Carlitos, ok, teacher Carlitos, ok, perfecto, y ahí estamos reportando, right? What was your favorite subject at school? Número, number six, right? Hablando de subject, es cuál es su materia favorita, cuál era su materia favorita en la escuela. My favorite subject was uh, physical education, was mathematics, was science, was English. You report on that one. And the last one, were you a good student? Vea que la número siete solo es una yes I was or no I was. Es una yes no question. Were you a good student in school? Que si usted eh, fue un buen estudiante en escuela, hey, yes I was. Or no I wasn't. It depends on that, right? And we have the info sure. to practice. Tell me. Eh, mm -hmm. También, este, al igual que eh, tu vi en presente, también se puede utilizar tu vi en pasado para este, eh, dar, este, dar conocimiento de alguna profesión. Sí, también podemos dar, exacto. En general, el libro to be, con los usos que ya les mencionaba, nos sirve también para dar información personal. Así como decimos, my name is... 
um, I am from, ¿verdad? que es información personal, I am a student, I am a teacher, se nos sirve también para dar información, como usted mismo lo mencionó, información de una ocupación. ¿verdad? Tal vez hace dos años yo no era un teacher, and that's real, right? Uh, let's see, 10 years ago, hace 10 años, 10 years ago, I was a student. Yo no era un teacher, yo era un estudiante hace 10 años, ¿okay? pero ya cambió la cosa y ahora pues ya no soy un estudiante. Y así es correcto, se puede utilizar. All right, perfect, perfect. Are you ready for practice, people? Yes? No? Yes, teacher. All right, perfect. Yes, teacher, yeah. Excellent, thank you so much. Yes, Thank you so much for the feedback. I will include you in groups and you alternate to ask questions and to respond. Vamos a trabajar en mini salas con grupos de tres a cuatro personas. Les animo a que una persona eh, escoja una pregunta. Si quieren, no vaya en orden, no es necesario. Usted formule una pregunta. Usted formule la pregunta. Así en general, where were you born, por ejemplo, y todas las personas del grupo van a responder a esa pregunta, ¿ok? Para que no sea solo uno a uno y los otros esperando a ver si me preguntan a mí. No, una persona hace una pregunta, todos responden esa pregunta. Después otro, otra persona hace otra pregunta y todos van a responder así. En todo momento estamos preguntando y participando con nuestras respuestas. Let's get to work at this moment and I will be checking on you. So, Thank you so much, and let's begin.
Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are how are you doing with the practice? Eh, very well. Uh, mm -hmm. eh, tan así que ya no preguntamos todos a todos. <laughs> All right, excellent. Uh -huh. That's really nice. That's good. That's good. Perfect. Perfect. Eh, Until... pero si gusta, podemos preguntarnos. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Vamos a ver qué tanto nos recordamos. Vamos a ver. Yo les voy a preguntar a ustedes y me reportan. Right? Okay. For example, tell me, uh, when, the first one, right? Where was Fatima born? ¿Se recuerdan? ¿Dónde nació Fatima? She was born in... She was born in San Martín. In San Martín. Is that okay, Fatima? No, teacher. Ah, not in San Martín. My, my father was born in San Martín. Ah. <laughs> A little detail, ¿eh? pequeñito detalle, pero se mencionó San Martín. That's fine. Thank you. And tell me, Fatima, where were you born? Uh, I was born in San Marcos, San Salvador. Okay, San Marcos, all right, thank you, thank you so much. Let's see, ladies, tell me, when, number two, question number two, when was Marvin born? He was born in Sonsonate. Okay, in Sonsonate, but what about, in, talking about the year? No. Yeah. Marvin um, was born in 1990. 1990. Yeah. Ah, is that correct, Marvin? It's correct. Ah, excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's see. What else do you remember? And I, I will give the chance uh, about Marvin. What can you tell me about your classmates? So report one sentence. Eh, no haga la pregunta, sino que de lo que usted escuchó o de lo que usted averiguó, ¿qué nos puede contar, ya sea de Ingrid o de Fátima, algún dato que usted recuerde que ellas mencionaron de la práctica? Uh, de estas preguntas en específico, sí. ¿verdad? Sí, exacto, exacto, exacto. Eh, Ingrid, I was born in Sultan. Uh -huh. and Fátima, eh, she, she favorite subject uh -huh. at the school eh, was English and math. English and math, right? Her favorite subject. Oh, interesting. Thank you so much. Uh, what about for you? Let me see, Ingrid. What can you tell me about your classmates? Um, Fatima was a good student in the no? school, mm -hmm. and and the mother in Marvin mother mm -hmm. was born in Sonsonate. All right, Marvin's mother. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. And Fatima, what can you tell me about your classmates? Um, Marvin uh, was born in Sonsonate mm -hmm. and, and he was a good student in the high school. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very nice. Very nice. Thank you. So, Marvin, is that true? Were you born in Sonsonate? Uh, yes, teacher. It's true. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And at the present, do you live in Sonsonate or do you live in a different place? Uh, I live in San Salvador. Oh, oh, interesting. All right. That's fine. Sonsonate to San Salvador. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Any question about the practice or about anything that was uh, mentioned in, in this in this practice? Uh, yes, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, por ejemplo, en la última pregunta de where you are going to in, in school, mm -hmm. eh, yo había colocado la respuesta yes, I was a good student. Eh, no mm -hmm. sé si eso es correcto o... It's valid, it's valid. Remember we have short answers and we have long answers. The short answer is, yes, I was, right? But it is possible to say a complete answer. Yes, I was a good student. And that's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's valid. Okay, thank you, teacher. 
All right, perfect, perfect. What about for you ladies, any question? Yo tengo una pregunta, teacher. Tell me, tell me. Este, ¿Cómo se diría mm -hmm. al momento de que me pregunten mi materia favorita, pero yo digo que es, era literatura? Mm -hmm. En este caso, la palabra? la palabra, exacto, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso, dijéramos, dijéramos literature, literature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Exacto, okay. Li literature. Ahí le voy a mandar eh, la pronunciación. De la, más tarde se, la, se las mando por ahí para que la practiquemos, pero sí, sería literature. My, y de ahí, pues obviamente la estructura. My favorite subject was literature. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. People will return to the main room and I appreciate your effort and, you know, the time in the practice. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for the time in the practice. I really appreciate your effort, you know, to be asking and to be, you know, giving information and using the verb to be in the correct form. Thank you so much. I was visiting some groups and you were doing a nice job. Before we leave, I don't know if there is any question about the practice. No sé si existe alguna pregunta o de pronto surgió alguna duda mientras estábamos en la práctica. Questions, questions. In my case, mm -hmm. I don't have questions. Thank you, Christian. Thank you for the feedback. Any any other question or any comment, people? Oh, teacher, thank you. Well, a mí un compañero me hizo la observación, César me hizo la observación de que mm -hmm. cuando se pregunta, por ejemplo, ¿cómo era? Cuando uno pregunta, ¿cómo es tu personalidad? Uh -huh. Él me hizo la corrección que en lugar de are, se ocupa el where, where, you, uh -huh. personality. Ok. Si hablamos de, por ejemplo, ahora si preguntamos cómo era su personalidad antes, entonces ahí, sí, podríamos tener diferentes variantes de cómo preguntar. Si yo pudiera decirle, ¿cómo era usted? Entonces yo preguntaría, how were you as a child? Por darle un ejemplo, ¿cómo era usted como, como niña? ¿verdad? How were you as a child? Or how were you 10 years ago? Puedo dar un, incluso un periodo de referencia. ¿verdad? ¿Cómo era usted eh, hace 10 años? How were you 10 years ago? Esa es una variante. Si incorporamos la frase personality, ¿verdad? De su personalidad. Entonces, la pregunta cambiaría un poquito. Podríamos decir, how was your personality, right? How was your personality 10 years ago? Esa sería otra variante, ¿ok? O si no, incluso bien general, y esa es quizás la más común, y, eh, preguntamos, what were you like? ¿Verdad? ¿Cómo eras? What were you like? Y después le incorporamos por ahí tal vez un, una referencia, ¿verdad? What were you like as a children, uh, as a child, sorry? What were you like as a student? ¿Cómo eras como estudiante? What were you like, uh, you know, 15 years ago? And you can have different complements. Hay diferentes variantes, ¿verdad? Entre todas las variantes, pues de repente a veces estamos preguntando lo mismo, pero de diferente forma pero podemos utilizar ahí diferentes eh, opciones para obtener ese tipo de información. Uh -huh. M más tarde, si quieren, se las escribe igualmente por ahí en el chat y les comparto la info para que tengamos por ahí ciertos modelos de cómo preguntar, eh, cómo obtener esa información. Uh -huh. Thanks. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, people, let's get started on attendance and after that, we are dismissed. Let me get on my document. And we get started on this one. Let me see. Alberto. Alberto. Present. Excellent. Thank you. Ana Noemi. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Then I have Brian Isaac. Present. 
All right, Carlos Fernando. Present. Thank you. Carlos Heriberto. Present teacher. All right, Carlos Manuel. Present. Fine. César Alejandro. Present. Perfect. Claudia Lisette. Present teacher. Nice. Cristian Gerardo. Present teacher. Great. Eh, Damaris Mabel. Present teacher. All right. Elian Heriberto. Present teacher. Nice one. Stephanie Giselle. Present. All right. Thank you. Fatima Elizabeth. Present teacher. Great. Gabriela Eunice. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, Harrison Antonio. I'm here. Vincent, thanks. Ingrid Jamilet. Present. All right, all right, thank you. Jose Samuel. Present. Nice one, thank you. Marcos Javier. Present. All right. Maria de los Angeles. I guess Present. she's not a, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Marvin Raimundo. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, Oscar Armando. Oscar, Oscar. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you, Mr. Gustavo Garcia. I guess not available at this moment. Jan Cisarey. Present. Excellent, thank you. Jamie Rosibel. Present teacher. Perfect. And Jennifer Yesenia. I guess Jennifer not available at this moment. All right, but that's okay. Thank you everybody, you know, for the time in the practice. I appreciate that. I hope you have a perfect night, you know, and that your day tomorrow is better than this day, right? And so we have uh, a good day and that we have, you know, the chance to be sharing some information tomorrow as well. Espero que pasen una feliz noche. Que el día de mañana sea más bonito que el día de ahora. Si su día fue bonito ahora, que mañana sea mejor. Entonces, si podamos estar por acá reunidos para seguir practicando y utilizando el idioma en contexto. Don't forget about the platform, ¿ok? A las personas que mencioné al inicio, no olviden completar su plataforma lo más pronto posible. Mentalicémonos de dejarlo listo el miércoles. Usted sabe en, en qué parte va, así que le animo a que podamos finalizarla. Sección 5 y el examen final. Y si tiene alguna tarea, que alguna sección que no esté a, con nota de 80, le animo a que podamos repetirla para mejorar esa calificación y llegar al mínimo requerido. That's all for today, people. So have a good night and see you next time. Right, people? Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night, perfect, night, perfect. Night, see you, see you. Take care. Have a good night, good everybody. Night. Thank you. Bye-bye.